welcome everyone to our to a very short tutorial on Blackboard Collaborate, which is an, a webinar tool, a webinar platform, which allows you to synchronously at the same time meet online. So to start you off, you should all have gotten an email by your course convener or maybe by your course coordinator um, asking whether you can join them in a Collaborate um, meeting room. So you should have gotten this link to Blackboard Collaborate, which you could actually also access through your Blackboard course. But if you don't want to go through it, you don't want to log on, you can just click on the guest link. So if you click on it, what happens? It's opening up and you can type your name and it will remember your name. You can see my name is already there, Daniela Gashago. And often it's good to use both first and last name, just in case people don't know your last name or there are many people in the room. And then you say join session and what happens then is you enter the course room the online course room it might take a while depending on your um, internet bandwidth and your connectivity it might take longer or shorter so it's always good to um, join the room a little bit early before the session starts also to just say hi and see how everyone is and i can see there are two people already in my in the room there is Sanguabo, who is the moderator and then there's another participant called Donna so the first thing you do when you enter the room especially for your first time you click on this little purple arrow and you get your console or the panel with all your options and under my settings there's something called set up your camera and microphone and in here you can test for example you can first of all um, test your audio and it tells you you sound great so you should be loud enough Yes, it's working. And then you can even set up your video if your bandwidth is good enough and if you have not too many people. But in any um, seminars that I have 10 or more people, we usually tell people to either focus on chat only, on text only, or to add audio but not video. So once you know that all your audio and video setups are fine, then you can start exploring the room. So one of the most important things for you is first of all to check who else is here. And you can see these, we've got Sonwabo and we've got Donna here. And then there's a chat function. So here you can just say, hi, welcome. Nice to see you in this seminar. How are you today? Yeah? And you can chat and you can post questions even if your presenter is presenting while they're presenting you can ask if there's anything that you'd like to know more about or if things are unclear this is one way of interacting with the other participants in the room but if you're not too many and if you have given the rights to talk you can also speak up and the way that works is you have to activate your audio so if you click on the mic button and if you're not reconnecting like in my case it will open up your op an opportunity for you to talk so as long as um until i'm reconnected when i'm reconnected and you can see the mic is on and now i can talk whatever i say now if i've got a headset with a mic ideally everybody else will hear um then one important thing um, in webinars is only keep your mic active when you actually want to talk because if there are too many mics active, you might get echo and you might hear everything that's going on in your background. So rather as a good practice, switch the mic off if you have said what you want to say. Also, another good tip, especially if you're many, is if you want to say something, raise your hands first. Yeah, click off raise your hands and then the mic, oops, I'm a bit too impatient here, yeah, raise my hands and then the, the moderator will see Daniela has raised her hand and Zimbabwe can then tell me, for example, okay, Daniela, go on and speak. And then I can take the mic. If I'm not reconnecting like now, I can take the mic and talk. That's really it. Those are the most important things that you need to know when you do a webinar. Check your audio and your video settings under my settings. Look who's in the chat. Look who's already here. Chat post something, ask questions, and if you want to talk, raise your hand and activate your mic. That's it for now. Good luck for your first session.